Imagine walking into a car dealership and seeing an electric vehicle sitting on the lot, priced not at $60,000, not even $30,000, but just $14,000. And here's the kicker. It doesn't need fuel, it doesn't need charging, and yet it runs endlessly. Sounds impossible, right? Well, Africa's own Maxwell Chikambutso has just flipped the global EV industry on its head because a self-powered EV is now officially up for sale. The big shock. For years, Maxwell's name has been whispered in tech circles, some calling him a genius, others dismissing him as a myth. He introduced the world to a car powered by microsonic energy, a mysterious system that converts invisible waves into endless motion. But until now, it was locked away in labs, shown only in rare demonstrations. That all changed when reports surfaced of a limited release. Maxwell's EV being offered to the public in select African and Asian markets at the jaw-dropping price of just $14,000. The world reacts. The news spread like wildfire. Videos leaked online of people test-driving the car, showing dashboards that never dropped in battery percentage. A farmer in Zimbabwe was seen hauling produce for days without once plugging in. In Kenya, a taxi driver claimed he'd been driving passengers for weeks without fuel costs or downtime. International media outlets scramble for confirmation, while tech giants and automakers grew restless. Could it really be true that an African engineer had beaten Tesla, Toyota, and Volkswagen in the EV race? The price disruption. Here's what makes the story even wilder. The car isn't just self-powered. It's affordable. With a price tag of around $14,000, it undercuts nearly every electric vehicle on the global market. Analysts say this isn't just a new product. It's an economic earthquake. Imagine countries across Africa and Asia, where car ownership has always been limited by high costs, suddenly gaining access to vehicles that never need fuel, never need charging, and cost less than a second-hand sedan in the U.S. Elon Musk's dilemma. Behind the scenes, reports claim that Elon Musk himself has taken notice. Insiders suggest Tesla engineers were instructed to evaluate and replicate the mysterious microsonic system. But here's the twist. No one outside Maxwell's team has been able to crack the tech. One leak report from a Chinese auto lab admitted, We don't fully understand the energy system. It breaks the conventional rules of physics as we know them. The first buyers. Meanwhile, the first wave of customers is already placing orders. Small fleets of these cars have appeared in Zambia, Nigeria, and even pilot programs in China. Videos show customers proudly taking delivery of cars that the global market once thought didn't exist. The reactions range from joy to disbelief. One man, holding the keys to his new car, simply said, This is freedom. I'll never pay for fuel again. The pushback begins. But with every revolution comes resistance. Almost immediately, governments tied to oil exports began raising red flags. Lobbyists claimed the car hadn't been certified for safety and called for immediate bans until further tests were conducted. Energy companies, facing the threat of billions in lost revenue, quietly pushed officials to suppress imports of Maxwell's EV. In one case, an entire shipment of cars bound for West Africa was mysteriously held at customs with no explanation. The silence from Big Auto. Meanwhile, major automakers stayed silent. No statements, no press releases. But industry insiders leaked that emergency board meetings were being held in Detroit, Tokyo, and Stuttgart. Why? Because Maxwell's $14,000 EV wasn't just an innovation. It was a market killer. Tesla, GM, Toyota, and VW had all bet their future on expensive EVs that require massive charging infrastructures. If Maxwell's tech truly worked, billions of dollars in R&D could become obsolete overnight. The China factor. And then came the unexpected twist. Reports suggested that China had quietly secured an exclusive deal to manufacture parts of Maxwell's self-powered system. Factories in Shenzhen and Guangzhou were rumored to be producing components for thousands of vehicles per month, preparing for a rollout far beyond Africa. This revelation left Western companies fuming. Analysts warned that if Africa and China joined forces on mass-producing this EV, the global car industry would never look the same. The public speaks. On social media, the reaction was overwhelming. 
Hashtags like hashtag free energy car and hashtag Maxwell EV trended across Twitter and TikTok. Videos of young Africans showing their car's endless range went viral, sparking heated debates. Some called Maxwell's invention the end of oil. Others were skeptical, labeling a hoax. But the one thing nobody could deny, people were driving these cars and they weren't stopping. The hidden threats. But behind the viral videos and joyous customers, darker forces were moving. Reports surfaced that Maxwell's team was receiving threats, urging him to shut down production. Whispers in the industry suggested oil magnates and certain political groups were pressuring African governments to block distribution. Yet Maxwell remained defiant, telling a Zimbabwean reporter, This technology is not mine alone. It belongs to the world. You can't stop an idea whose time has come. The rollout war begins. By early reports, Africa and China had already begun laying the groundwork for mass distribution. Shipping routes were mapped, factories expanded, and new dealerships popped up in Nairobi, Lagos, and Johannesburg. But the rollout wasn't just about cars. It was about geopolitical power. Whoever controlled this technology wouldn't just dominate the car market. They would redefine global energy dependence. Elon Musk's response. For weeks, Elon Musk had remained silent. But then, during a highly publicized tech conference, he finally spoke. If what they claim is true, it changes everything. But extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. His words sent shockwaves. To many, it was a veiled admission that Maxwell's technology was real enough to take seriously. Tesla's stock wavered, and investors demanded answers on how the company planned to respond. Behind the scenes, Tesla engineers reportedly began reverse engineering leak schematics to understand the microsonic energy source. Western governments pushed back. The U.S. and Europe weren't going to sit back. Quietly, new tariffs and import restrictions targeted African-made vehicles. Officials argued it was about safety standards, but critics called a thinly veiled attempt to stall Maxwell's cars from reaching Western streets. Yet the harder governments pushed back, the more people demanded answers. Why block a car that could save families thousands on fuel? Why hide technology that could help fight climate change? The pressure was boiling. Africa's defiance. Meanwhile, African leaders stood firm. For decades, the continent had been viewed as a resource supplier to the world, never a tech powerhouse. But Maxwell's EV flipped that narrative. In a fiery speech, one African minister declared, we will not allow history to repeat itself. Africa will not be robbed of its inventions again. This car is ours, and the world will come to us if it wants it. Crowds erupted in cheers. For the first time, Africa wasn't begging for a seat at the table. It was setting the table. The tipping point approaches. As the first wave of Maxwell's $14,000 EVs prepare for international launch, the world watched nervously. Would oil giants sabotage the rollout? Would Western governments find a way to ban it entirely? Or would this car break through the barriers and shift global power forever? First international deliveries. The first shipment of Maxwell's $14,000 self-powered EVs left the port of Mombasa under heavy security. Trucks loaded with the sleek vehicles rolled into massive cargo ships bound for China, India, and parts of South America. Cameras captured every moment. The sight of hundreds of cars being loaded onto ships powered by a mysterious microsonic energy engine instead of lithium batteries or fuel tanks sent the world's media into a frenzy. China State News declared, A new era has begun and Africa is leading it. The sabotage attempt. But not everyone celebrated. On the third night of the journey, one of the cargo ships carrying dozens of EVs mysteriously lost all communications. For hours, its signal vanished from radar. When it reappeared the next morning, containers had been broken into and several cars were missing. Crew members reported seeing unmarked drones hovering in the sky just before the incident. It looked like someone somewhere was trying to stop Maxwell's cars from reaching global markets. Africa and China strike back. In response, China deployed naval escorts for future shipments. Africa doubled down on protective measures even hiring private security firms to guard Maxwell's facilities. A joint press statement announced, This is not just about cars. This is about independence from energy monopolies. Those who attempt to sabotage will fail. 
The future cannot be stopped. The message was clear. They were not backing down. Western media reaction. Western media, however, spun the story differently. Headlines screamed. And proven African EV faces safety concerns. China using African car to challenge Western auto dominance. But these narratives backfired. Ordinary people began asking, if the car is fake, why are governments so desperate to block it? The harder the opposition fought, the more the public sided with Maxwell, the Tesla factor. Back at Tesla HQ, engineers worked day and night. Whispers spread that Musk had ordered a top-secret internal project to crack the microsonic technology. But one leaked memo revealed a shocking detail. Tesla scientists admitted they couldn't fully understand the self-recharging system Maxwell had created. For the first time in a decade, Tesla was on the defensive. The first customers drive it. Weeks later, the first official customers in China and Africa drove Maxwell's EV onto the streets. Videos flooded TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. A man drove 1,000 kilometers without ever plugging in. A taxi driver in Nairobi bragged about saving hundreds of dollars in just one week. A Chinese vlogger dismantled the hood, revealing an engine that hummed silently with microsonic pulses. The internet exploded. The world couldn't deny it anymore. The car worked. The oil giant strike back. The moment Maxwell's $14,000 self-powered EV hit the roads, oil prices dipped overnight. Investors panicked. Stock values of the largest petroleum companies lost billions within hours. In a closed-door emergency meeting, oil executives from Europe, the Middle East, and America gathered. Documents later leaked revealed a chilling phrase on the agenda, contain or eliminate the threat. The threat wasn't a government. It wasn't China. It was one man in Africa, Maxwell Chikambutso. Maxwell's response. But Maxwell wasn't alone anymore. He had an alliance with China, support from African nations, and most importantly, the people's trust. In a broadcast stream globally, he said, I built this car not for corporations, but for humanity. No one should ever have to choose between mobility and survival. Energy belongs to everyone. The speech went viral. Millions across the world saw him not as an inventor, but as a symbol of freedom, the turning point. By the end of the year, Tens of thousands of Maxwell's cars were already on the streets. Families in rural Africa drove without worrying about gas stations. Chinese cities saw cleaner air as fleets of self-powered taxis replace fuel-burning cars. Even in Europe, black market imports of Maxwell's EVs started popping up despite bans. The old system was crumbling. Elon Musk's final statement. At a Tesla press event, Elon Musk was asked about Maxwell's cars. For a long moment, he stayed silent, then finally admitted, What Maxwell has done is extraordinary. It changes everything. The future of transport will never be the same again. It was the first time Musk had openly conceded defeat. The legacy begins. The story ended not with a corporate acquisition, not with suppression, but with a revolution. From Africa to Asia, from villages to megacities, the hum of self-powered cars filled the streets. Maxwell Chikambutso, once dismissed as a dreamer, had redefined the future. And as people drove into a new world, free from gas stations, free from charging stations, one truth became undeniable. The age of self-powered transportation had begun.